What's going on guys? Justin with the Podcast Dojo. So today we are going to be covering Woodville Mall. Now once again I do apologize I cannot remember who suggested it. That is why I've been writing these down. But uh, if you did suggest Woodville Mall to me please comment below and I will make sure to pin your comment to the top so you are recognized for suggesting this. So this one is in Toledo, Ohio. Well more specifically Northwood, Ohio. So let's not waste any more time, head on over to Ohio and check out Woodville Mall. Woodville Mall was a De Bartolo project and opened on April 16, 1969. It was named after the nearby Woodville Road. The mall had a total of 1,227,000 square feet and had three anchor stores. The original three were Sears, J.C. Penney's, and LaSalle's. Two years later, a Woolco was built adjacent to the mall in 1971. Sears would be the only anchor store to remain until the end. In 1982, LaSalle's became Macy's and then that became Elder Beerman in 1985. J.C. Penney's would leave in 1987 after their auto center closed in 1983. The Woolco closed in 1983 along with the other two Toledo locations likely due to their closure of U.S. stores in 1983. They were quickly replaced with Hills. Now you're probably wonder why, wondering why I started out talking about closures and barely talking about the mall itself. Well, don't worry, we're getting to some better stuff here. The mall started to have a decline in sales in the mid-80s, but after J.C. Penney's closed, De Bartolo did renovations. The former Food Town supermarket inside the mall became the Treats Food Court. A new entrance was added along with a 1900 style town square. These renovations helped a lot, as well as the Anderson store which took over the former J.C. Penney's. However, this increase didn't last long. The nearby Great Eastern Shopping Center was taking away shoppers with cheaper stores, and they opened up a Mayhear Superstore across from the Great Eastern Shopping Center. In 1994, the Woodville Woolworth location closed in 1994 and became an indoor skate park. Simon Property Group and De Bartolo merged in 1996 and put Woodville up for sale in 1999. Ames would take over the Hills store in the late 1990s. The mall would be sold to Sammy Cahan and Jack Kashanai of California in 2004. Elder Beerman left in 2009 and the mall would then be sold to New York investor Mike Cohan. Alright, now we are really going to start to get to the interesting stuff. The big reason why the mall just went to the wayside. The glory days of the Woodville Mall appear to be a thing of the past. Last Friday, mall management sent a letter to merchants that they should prepare to vacate the premises as soon as possible as the Wood County Health Department, citing health concerns, was pushing forward with plans to close the mall. We have a problem with the mall, leaking water, Health concerns from the health department, multiple violations, uh, out-of-state owners who do not want to take care of the problem. When health inspectors arrived, they discovered that the temperature inside the mall was a chilly 46 degrees. The temperature inside the theater was near freezing at 36 degrees. Inside one of the theaters, sections of the roof were missing, making for unpleasant movie viewing on rainy days. And in other locations around the mall, structural damage threatened some of the mall walkers. I was walking one day and I heard a very loud noise behind me and one whole sheet of the uh, uh, tile fell right behind me, just missed me. It was loaded with water. In early 2011, Kohan added non-chain stores to the mall and even tried to do a grand opening. However, it was too late. The mall needed serious maintenance. There was mold and mildew, sprinklers not working, leaky roofs, and the gas bill had not been paid. Shop owners even had to start using space heaters, but this was a violation of the fire safety code. Kohan even tried to sell the mall to a New Jersey investor group, but no deal due to the state of the mall. The mall closed for good in 2012 when Kohan failed to appear in court over the state of the mall, forcing all tenants to leave and the mall to be boarded up and condemned. The anchor stores could stay open as they had entrances that could be accessed from outside of the mall. The only exception being the movie theater as it could only be accessed from inside the mall. The Andersons closed up in 2013 fearing the state of the mall, and the Sears closed in 2014 when the mall announced demolition. As of now, the mall is currently being demolished. So what do I think was the problem here? Well. De Bartolo had said that he thought that the area would grow, and it just never did. 
Now, I will say, unlike De Bartolo's other malls that I've talked about, at least this one survived almost 50 years. So that's more than I can say about his other two malls that I've talked about, Randall Park and Regency Mall, which just suffered due to crime. But overall, uh, while well, De Bartolo was very successful, it just seems like he didn't really do a lot of research before building in these areas. And there's also the income level around Woodville Mall, which is why some of the nearby shopping centers that offer cheaper alternatives did much better. And also, it just seemed like the owners after De Bartolo just didn't seem to care, which is why, you know, they eventually had to condemn the property. So, so that was Woodville Mall. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, two weeks, we'll have another abandoned video up for you guys. Uh, until then, be sure to subscribe if you like if you enjoy what Ray Ray and I do. Be sure to hit that bell button so you will always receive notifications on new uploads. And be sure to comment below. Do you have any stories of going to Woodville Mall? Uh, I'd love to hear them, and I'll definitely respond to them. All right, have a great day, guys, and I will catch you next time.